Hey there, it's your pal Filthy again with another episode of uh, Bloomfield Canada here in Farming Simulator 22. We've got a bunch of stuff to do today, so let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are to uh, pick up right where we left off. Quite literally, this is exactly where we left off. I have an advanced time or anything. So today we're going to be doing something uh, a bit different than yesterday in that we're going to go plant that uh, that big field that we bought. We're going to be putting wheat in there. But uh, to start, I'm probably going to need to go get some more seed. But to transport that seed is a bit of a challenge in that I don't really want to drive my tractor all the way there just to... to with the planter just to bring it back so what we're going to do is i'm going to start by going into the shop and going into the cars category and pick up this 1975 uh f100 v8 it's a, it is a mod but it's a relatively cheap truck and it uh and it, it drives well it's what i wanted to use and I thought it would fit the vibe of this video series until we can get a little bit fancier truck so yeah we'll just go ahead and set it up to be a bale trailer we just need the 4.5 v8 we don't need to be doing anything crazy all of this can stay the same you can get underglow which is a little pretentious if you ask me but that's not important uh, and we're not going to change any of these things though we will add a trailer hitch because I'd like to have the ability to buy or to tow trailers with this, obviously. And I, I am going to change the color a little bit because, you know, I, I want to make it stand out a little bit better. Um, I think for now we'll just go with a, a metallic black color. I think that that works. There you go. Jam done. There is the truck purchased. And just like I, I said in the previous video, if you hit the arrows, you can jump between your vehicles. So here we are at this vehicle now we do have a bit of a problem in that i can't pick up these bags so what i'm going to do this time is i'm going to come back here into the forklift category and i'm just going to grab um, this machine here and i'm not going to buy it i'm not going to purchase this but i am going to lease it because it's a thousand dollars or or just shy of two thousand to be more accurate I'm going to lease it, and then I'm going to throw this in, or I'm, no, this is not what I wanted to hop into. Give me a second here, folks. Sorry about that. Okay, I guess I'm hopping into this thing, even if I didn't want to. Okay, so we'll just get this moved out of the way while we hop into the truck here, start it up, and we want to open the bed here. We've just opened up the truck here, sorry for the weird cut, but there's some issues. Uh, I've just got the, the bed of the truck open here, so now we'll hop back in the uh, the forklift, and we're going to get this position, bring the forks up, and just slide it in there. If I do this just right, I can probably lift both at the same time. And then, boop, 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 boop. oh, that one on the front there is running the risk of falling off any minute now, but we're practically on the truck at this point, so we'll, we should be okay. Here we go, drop it down, tilt the forks forward a bit, and then, like you can see, that that's not set up in the best position, so what we'll do is just drop the forks and push it onto the truck better and then we'll just uh, turn the the forklift off we'll get back in the truck throw some straps on there and then we'll uh, we'll get rolling and we'll head home and now I know we don't have a, a forklift at the farm yet we'll uh, we'll likely get one relatively soon because forklifts and telehandlers become incredibly useful throughout the franchise throughout the the series that you'll want to get one pretty early on because unless you have the game modded where you can pick up heavy things, almost everything you buy is too heavy for your character to lift by hand. And it makes sense, like these bags are not small by any means, but it's um it, it, it's it's hard to to play this game unless you've got mods or 
or a forklift and a telehandler to be able to lift these things and place them on vehicles and stuff. And, and you know, in the case of seeds and fertilizer and what have you, the, uh, the reality is you can take your planters, your seeders, to the to the seeds, but like I was saying, I, I didn't really want to load up all of that technology. I'm not sure why that guy decided to stop right in my driveway, but that's not important. I didn't want to have to take all of my technology down to the store just to load up these seeds. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the seeds over to the field that we're gonna be planting. That way, if I run out partway through, we're good to go. So I'll just park it somewhere just up ahead here, and then we'll hop back in the uh, New Holland tractor and get the field started. So I'll just throw that in the park, turn it off, get the straps off, and then we'll hop back in New Holland, and we'll, uh, we'll get planting in just a moment. Stick with me. Okay, and so here we are coming back to the field. Um, I did make a bit of a mistake. Uh, if you look down in the bottom right corner, I've I've got lots and lots of seed, but what I don't have is fertilizer, which was the other bags that are left at the store. So all I have to say, I guess we'll we'll just try and plant this field uh, with what we have here, and then I will have to likely drive back to the store with my truck and and get the the fertilizer on the bed there. So. Just like the, the grass, you have to start by unfolding the, uh, the planter, and it's, it's all very easy to use, but I can certainly see why people would feel intimidated just based on like the, the scale and the scope of some of the things that you use. But I think it's important to remember, it's not real life. You don't have to worry. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Like, it's, it's fine. Drop it down, and off we go. So like I, I said in the previous videos, I'll typically try and use um, cruise control when planting fields. It just makes it a bit easier on your hands that you're not having to hold the triggers down all the time. And for me, when I'm planting things, I always intentionally hang off the side a little bit. That way I know that I'm planting all the way up to the edge of the field. I've seen some uh, players of this game that will plant in a way that, you know, they they miss edges. And, for instance, like, I just missed that edge there, and I'm driving like a bit of a maniac, so obviously I'm going to have to come back through and, and plant that properly. But, um, but yeah, and, like, you just kind of want to go around the headlands and, and make sure that at least the first row is done, uh, especially if you're going to be hiring an AI companion to to finish the field. It's really important that you do the first couple rows because, in my experience, the AI in this game tends to get confused, tends to get kind of stupid uh, if they have to go around the headlands. So you, if you can do the first couple rows, then you can get the computer to take over after that. And, it makes it a little bit easier, but since we're early on in the game, since I've only got about $31,000 left, I don't really want to hire an AI companion because you uh, you pay them by the hour, so to speak. So based on the size of this field, based on uh, what I've got in the settings for, for timing, I don't really want to be spending that kind of money just to have someone do something that I can do. But with that said, uh, we're going to get into a bit of a time lapse here, so we'll, I'll see you on the flip side.
just wanted to pop back in here for another little tidbit, little piece of information, a little tip or trick, if you will, if you're going to play the game. Uh, as a general rule of thumb, if you keep your front tires kind of lined up with where the change in texture is on the dirt. Here, let me zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm talking about a bit better. Like, if you can keep your front tires just to the left of where that change in texture is, then typically you you know you're lined up just right to to fill or to plant next to where you have already as opposed to uh, crazy amounts of overlap well that's about it so thanks Once more, it's me again. Uh, this job has taken a bit longer than I expected, so I'm just gonna uh, jump cut to the end after a bit more of a time lapse. I just wanted to fill you guys in so you're not watching and then like, oh, did his file get corrupted or something? No, I'm, I'm intentionally cutting a lot of this out, and I will do that throughout the series where I'll cut out the, the monotonous stuff, I'll cut out the stuff that gets kind of boring. Uh, so we'll, we'll probably do a time lapse uh, of one more lap around the field and then from there we'll we'll cut and to when the field is done and move on to the next task thanks <laughs> Part of why I'm doing this content is because I want to, uh, because I enjoy playing this game, but based on how this recording has gone, I, I wanted to be transparent with anyone that, that's watching these videos. Um, as you can see, the field is not done. Uh, for what it's worth, it was finished. It, in my original playthrough, I managed to finish it at uh, 10 30, 11 o'clock at night in game time, about an hour and a half, almost two hours of of planting in in real life. Uh, but then I ran into some issues with what I was planning to do for the next stage of the game, or for the next stage of this video, rather. And I ended up quitting because it was frustrating me and that it wasn't working the way I wanted it to. Something was glitched out. So I just kind of quit, and I didn't realize that uh, that I had never saved, so that's why I am letting a computer do some of the planting while I explain what's happening here, and that, uh, yeah, this is technically the second time this field will be planted. So, yeah, that's cool, I guess. Um, pro tip for anyone out there willing to play this game, wanting to play this game, save. If you have autosave turned off, remember to save before you... Uh, before you do something stupid like quit out of the game before saving. Um, anyway, while the while the worker's doing his thing, I figured I'll take the opportunity to to explain the next step of what we're gonna do uh, and what we will get to it by the end of this video. Um, what I wanted to do is I want to get a greenhouse, which I will um, show you here. It's in the production menu. It's under greenhouse. Originally, I had downloaded a mod for an open-air greenhouse, and it was it was pretty cool, but it uh, I ran into a glitch where it wasn't letting me add water to it, even though the greenhouse itself had ample capacity for more water like it uh, based on the menu that it was uh, showing 
I had added just shy of 7,000 liters of water, and it looked like it could hold 50, 60,000 liters of water, so I'm not sure why it wasn't letting me. It was just a little... I, To be honest, I think the trailer I had bought was glitched out because it didn't matter the position that I had put the the trailer in. It didn't matter that there was room left. It just wasn't letting me t add any more water. So I decided I'm going to go with just these... The, the base greenhouse that you get in game it's it's stock if we were going to use car terms and i'll probably just go with this um with this small the small one here and what i want to do what what i had conceptualized in my head and i hope that i can make this happen is i want to i want to put like a little green space in here that I'll probably put some uh, and if you come into bees here uh, or into animals excuse me I want to put like a couple beehives in here and just kind of turn this into a little garden sanctuary oasis little back porch or not porch but a little back alcove situation we'll have to get rid of this uh, with this shed get rid of this shed excuse me but uh, first and foremost, let's go back into the uh, the tractor pulling the planter and, and take over that task so we're not continuing to spend money on an AI worker. And um, you know what? I, at that, uh, when we're done planting, I will uh, bring you guys back in and, um, and we'll work on the next thing. But uh, if this is anything like the first time I planted, this is going to be a very monotonous task. And I uh, just don't want to bore you guys with that, so sit tight. And here we are back on the farm. I know it's not a new video, but I wanted to say welcome back regardless because uh, that took all night. Uh, it uh, it was quite the lengthy time. And this was actually the second time I, I had to plant that field because, as I said earlier in the video, I forgot to save. And when I got frustrated by something else, I quit. So, um, yeah, the field has been planted for the second time. It's... Uh, it took a little bit less time this time, I'm not really sure why, but regardless, the field is done. But uh, as I said before, I, I want to I wanna try and start my garden oasis, but there, there's something that I need to do first here. Hold on. Hey! Hey! Get out of here! Go! Get! Go on, get! Go on! Crazy deer keep eating my grass. Gonna ruin my lawn. Next thing you know, I'll be getting deer poo all over my lawn anyway so we're gonna go now to uh, to pick up something we will need for the greenhouse and that's a, a water tanker uh, why do you need a water tanker you ask well because the way greenhouses work in this game is they are not self-sufficient uh, actually any production you get in this game is not self-sufficient it requires ingredients in, in some capacity so the the base greenhouses in this game require water so we're gonna go get a water tanker there's a I have a, a well or something on, on my plot of land so it, in terms of like travel time for the water it shouldn't be too bad but uh, you still need something to get the water from point A to point B so that's what we're gonna go do Let's just take this. Oh, driving in oncoming lanes, but whatever. There's no cops in this area, I don't think. And even if there is, I um, I don't think they'll care too much. So here we are. Here's the, the gas station that... I'm kind of hoping I don't really have to use the gas station all that much. There's a... I've got a, a small petrol tank on my, um, on my lot. And... It's called a petrol tank because this game is made in Europe, and I I hear petrol is what they call it. Oh, my door is a little bit messed up. Anyway, so here we are at uh, at the shop, and now what I'm gonna get is something you'll find in the animal category. Is uh, these tankers here? The um, they they can carry a number of things. Um, these here are the for transporting liquids and then the this is for mixing uh total mix ration and and things that we won't really be getting into for a bit still i'm just going to get this small three thousand dollar tank it's got a capacity of two thousand which is not 
that great, but under the circumstances of our plot of land having, uh, having a well right there with like infinite refillability, I don't really care all that much to get a crazy capacity tank when I can just make multiple trips. Now, in the footage that I ended up deleting, I ended up placing my greenhouse and it uh, it didn't work the way I wanted it to in that it was being a little bit problematic in in that it wasn't letting me refill the water and I know I've already spoken about this but I wanted to rehash it a little bit that I'm hoping this goes differently because getting uh, a greenhouse off the ground is one of the cheapest ways to start making money because you can uh, depending on how many greenhouses you can have you can have a variety of different produce is coming in throughout the year and uh, in my experience the the tomatoes the lettuce and the strawberries all items that you can get from your greenhouses they are at their best selling point at the end of the year uh, or I guess technically at the beginning of the year in January so the fact that we're already in September starting the series I can build up a bit of a, a stockpile with the, the tomatoes or which is what I plan on growing and then once we have that stockpile we can just kind of when it's time to make some money at uh, in January we'll just rent a trailer or something and load all the tomatoes then uh, I'm not really sure where exactly I'll be stockpiling things in the interim but it shouldn't be too hard I, I think the fact that we've got that big bulk haul uh, with no real bulk items to put it in at the moment. I think that that's likely where things will go in the interim and then eventually I will um, find a way to clear a bit more space for, for other items. Okay, so here we are. Now, I wanted to get rid of this storage shed here because as far as I can tell, it is purely decorative. There's nothing it does other than it looks like you've got a cool storage hall, but you like you can't go in it. You can't open the door. It's it's literally just a decoration. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it. It's uh, just under twenty five hundred bucks. So that's cool. That essentially that almost pays for the tanker that we just bought. And now we'll go into productions, greenhouses, and I want to start with, uh, actually, we'll see how big the medium one is. If this fits convenient, no, I don't want to put the medium one in there. I will put this one in there, and then uh, we'll kind of place it here and make sure it's a little bit centered. I apologize, folks. I'm a little bit OCD when it comes to stuff like this, so bear with me. So there we go. It, um, see, I was hoping it would avoid doing that. But also, I'm probably, in a future episode, going to be doing some landscaping, so I'll be tidying up stuff like this and making sure that grass is planted accordingly and that uh, we we clear up some of the mess that I made over there and what have you. So, yeah, now that it's placed, it's a, the greenhouses are very straightforward to operate to to use uh, so we'll just get my truck turned around here and bring my water tank oh help if I didn't crash into the damn thing now wouldn't it As you see there it says start overloading and in the lost footage that I will continue to reference until the end of this episode it um, I got that at first, and here, we'll, we'll pull away so I can actually go in the door. I got that message, but here, I will show you where things went wrong in the last footage. Uh, we'll click on that. You see, it says I have about 2,000 liters in there, just over 2,000 liters, but there's still ample space in that meter. You can see that it's uh, it's just under half full, so... That was the same case with in the lost footage. I had um, I had made a run with the tanker that I had, and it uh, that was fine and dandy. But then when I went to go make a second run and deposit another 
couple thousand liters of water it just it didn't take it, it it didn't matter the position the trailer was in it didn't matter how close i was it, it was just it, it was not working so that made me think that perhaps the uh, either the greenhouse that i had purchased or the um or the trailer i had purchased had glitched out and just was not working the way it was supposed to we'll come back over here and i'll probably find a better way to to do this like i might even when it comes time for landscaping what i might do is clear a bit more of this grass and have it kind of gravel so i'm, I'm not so i don't end up like i don't want to keep driving on the grass and ruining that and to me it would make sense if this if i'm repeatedly driving over it i i certainly want to try and make it kind of realistic where it's it's getting worn down and that the the grass is is being killed by the the tires going over it non-stop so here we are we're filling it again There we go, and we know for a fact that it, uh, it probably can take some more, so we'll do one more run. And while we're doing this run, I just want to go ahead and uh, and say thank you to anyone that's watched the video up to this point. It's, it's really appreciated. I know that this content is not necessarily for everyone. I know that I'm the things I have to say in this game and what have you is not for everyone, but I appreciate the people that took the time to watch up to this point. And, you know, I, on some level, I, I wanted to show you the, the footage that, um, that I was working on that ended up being deleted because I, I wanted to demonstrate that as much as this video is probably going to come out to like 35, 40 minutes long, if not less than that, I've been physically playing this game for close to three hours now to try and make this happen and some of the the content that has now been deleted was things like trying to to get the trailer lined up with where i had put the old uh or the greenhouse in the lost footage and ended up crashing into trees and it just wasn't lining up and and even some of the the footage with the planter was uh, like you could see that things weren't quite working the way I wanted it to and you know I, I want to be transparent with anyone that's watching these videos that you know the, this does take more effort than just playing a game it, it takes a certain amount of uh, dedication it takes a certain amount of, of je ne sais quoi in that I for me, I deal with a lot of frustration issues. I deal with a lot of rage issues. So having to play a game for like three hours to make a 30 minute video is not really conducive to, uh, to like a, a good mental health exchange. But uh, all that to say, I do enjoy doing this and I don't want to give the impression that I don't. I, I'm enjoying this two episodes in and i wish to continue doing it i'm just what i'm trying to get across is when you're watching people's content whether it's mine whether it's other people's i think it's important that you understand that people are dedicating their time their efforts their their mental health to make content so if you're going to be watching content on YouTube or any other platform for that matter. I think it's important that you you understand that people are, are, are putting effort into it, so it's not necessarily appropriate to, to comment on people's videos and tell them how they're doing it wrong or, or what they could be doing better. If you don't like it, just move on. And Again, in the interest of transparency, this hasn't happened to me. I, I only have one comment on my first episode, and that's from uh, my lovely fiancé. But uh, I've seen it on other videos, and I've heard it from other content creators in their videos where they have to address negativity. Uh, for instance, Daggerwind, the, the British gentleman that semi-inspired this series, 
he has had several people tell him that he's garbage at this game and that, you know, he could do things better. And to me, I think that that's gross. This man has made a full-time job out of making farming simulator videos for people to enjoy and someone feels the need to tell them that they're bad at playing this game. It's just yucky. Sorry, it's a bit of a tangent. I just, I wanted to get that across that, uh, you know, that's kind of my point of view on content creation, on viewing things on YouTube and video game videos and Let's Plays and all that, that if you don't like it, just move on. It's okay. You don't have to to belittle the person that's made that content. But anyway, tangent done. Um, one of the other things I purchased in the lost video was this power washer. Uh, so I ended up replacing it uh, shortly after finishing planting the field. And the power washer is not necessarily like it, it's not required but as you can see my my truck's gotten pretty dirty here and uh, I'm, I'm OCD enough that it does kind of bother me so you just go ahead and and spray the whatever the vehicle might be it's uh, you don't necessarily have to spray a specific location but I, I for me personally I kind of pretend that I'm giving the whole truck a once over and getting the the dirt and the schmutz and stuff off of off of the car or off of whatever it is you're washing and then you just come back you put it back and that's that you know it's simple stuff um well there's still a little bit of dirt left in the bed there as you can see uh, let me crouch down see there's little specks there and it's not the end of the world obviously but uh you know i'm as I've said a couple times, I'm a little OCD when it comes to stuff like that. So I'll get that done, and we'll get the, the truck put back where uh, where I will likely park it going forward. And then we'll probably call it a day. Uh, thank you all for, for joining me on this episode of uh, Bloomfield Canada and Farming Simulator 22. I realized that I came across something that I wanted to show you guys, and... Um, and in general, I had a bit of a coughing fit, so I cut some of the footage. But I, I wanted to to bring you guys back in that in all of the maps in Farming Simulator, there is collectibles. And I thought a collectible was right here. It is not. I don't know where that collectible is, but I will take a quick peek around these things to see if there's any collectibles here. Um, there is not. But anyway, I... I might as well talk to you guys since I brought you back in. In all of the maps in, in FS22, there is collectibles that can be found throughout the map, and as you pick them up, they, they give you a, a certain amount of money. See? I knew there was collectibles here somewhere. Yeah, you see here there's a little water tanker toy and a harvester toy, and if you... Um, I don't... Let me just bring up the help menu again so I can figure out how to collect it. Oh, I just wasn't standing close enough. You just go ahead and collect. And you see, it just gave me a thousand dollars just for finding it. Um, I think it's a little bit lame that there's two collectibles literally right next to each other, but hey, it is what it is. That's an extra two thousand dollars, and there you go. Uh, but yeah, I, I realized also, let me turn off the help menu again. I realized also that, uh, that I never actually started the production for the for my greenhouse that I just put in. So we'll go ahead and open the door, come in here, and I think I'm gonna be growing tomatoes because this is set in in Canada and based on the climate and stuff, I think that uh, that tomatoes and lettuce are, are items that uh, could easily be grown. So we're just gonna start with tomatoes because uh, that's what it is. And you you see here, they're, they're coming in, they're green. I, I appreciate that as soon as you click the button, you've got multiple plots already planted and ready to go so that's kind of fun just close the door and when when they are finished being created when they are ripe enough you we will see pallets of them spawn here so that's that um thank you again for taking the time to watch this with or to watch this with me that's not accurate to watch this video um i appreciate all the time and uh, I, I hope to catch you on the next one, uh, but uh, until next time, stay filthy.